Ah, good day everyone and welcome back to another Joey Rescue Mission. Today I am about an hour and 40 minutes outside of LA. I have Carter here with me and we are about to rescue another pregnant mother. She is a Doberman. I don't have too much information other than she's I think about nine months old and a month and a half pregnant I believe. So we're here. It's it's interesting. It's very interesting here. <laughs> um, uh, I hope this is the right place. I it is. I think it is. I'm gonna look again. <laughs> should we? Should we knock on the door? Hey, we're here. So I think this is the location. Allegedly, there's more dogs here, so we are gonna see what we find. They claim that she is very friendly. I mean, at nine months old, like, how mean can a dog be? But that's always something I'm super cautious about because I'm not gonna bring a violent animal into my home. So we're gonna go investigate, see what the situation is, and if it's a, a good fit for me to take her. I mean, we drove almost two hours to get here, so I hope it is. It's like 90 the dogs were to be something out. degrees outside. If it were to be like the dog out here, it would be so hot. Especially a black dog. Yeah. Okay. You've seen worse than this. It's pretty bad. It's actually pretty on par with the first rescue I did with like the trailer park one. It, yeah? It looks very similar to this road. I like kind of thought we were like at the same spot when we turned on here. A little messed up around here now, but I'm cleaning it up right now. Okay. I'm gonna get the car ready if you could just bring her up here. Okay, thank you. How you feel? This is heartbreaking. It is. It looks like she's doing the right thing. Seeking help. I feel like that's like the main thing she could yeah. be doing, she's doing. Okay, Joey here from the future. I'm sorry I have to interrupt this rescue mission because I have a very exciting announcement to make and that is I am making Escape the Night the movie. Well, I'm trying to make Escape the Night the movie. It, it's not happening quite yet. I'm trying to crowdfund money to raise enough funds to make the movie myself. So if you're unfamiliar, basically Escape the Night was for four seasons on YouTube Premium and unfortunately YouTube stopped their originals program so that left Escape the Night without funding to be made and to continue on. So I'm trying to take matters into my own hands because I seriously get hundreds of messages of people asking for when is Escape the Night coming back? And this is my attempt of bringing it back to life and to prove to investors like, hey, people really want this. Like it did really well, but now like I'm doing an Indiegogo and here's like the money that like people as a collective are trying to raise so we can make a movie movie happen. Now, I got a lot of questions about like, why not season five? Why are you making a movie? The short answer is a season costs like four times the amount that a movie would make. So um, it just seems more feasible to start with a movie. And then if that's successful, then we go into a season five. Anyways, that's the strategy. So there's a whole bunch of tiers. There's unfortunately all the tiers to be in the movie have been taken up. You can get a download of the movie. You can get t-shirts. You can get a script of the movie. There's gonna be a couple more things added, like I'm adding a premiere, like a virtual premiere that you can attend and then do a Q&A after. And then I just added another top tier one where you can come and spend a day on set with me and the cast. And it's gonna be really cool to be able to see behind the scenes, like firsthand how the movie's gonna be made. So if you'd like to go and contribute, we're about halfway through the campaign and also halfway of reaching our goal. So I would really, really appreciate if you went to the page, click the link down below. This has seriously been my dream for a long time to make a movie and to make Escape the Night the movie would seriously mean so much to me because it's something that I care so much about. It's like such a big part of me. I put so much of myself into the series and I would really hate for it to be the end of Escape the Night and I just... <sighs> 
I just really need you guys <laughs> to believe in me and any bit that you can go and support. I know it's like a really tough time for everyone right now. So to be asking for money to fund this project is not ideal timing, but you are getting something in return. You will be able to get the movie, you'll get experiences. So it's not like you're just giving money for nothing. I promise it will be worth it and you will get much, much entertainment and value out of this. So I love you guys and click the link down below if you'd like to go and support me and escape the night. And anyways, back to the dog rescue, let's go. Oh my god. All right, well, we're in the car. We have her. Um, let's hope she does not give birth on the way home. I think she's pregnant. I think she is. She's got teats. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did. Yeah. She did. Okay. Oh, oh hi, hi, baby. Oh my hi, god. Good girl. Hi, oh, sweetie. No. She found a little way through. She is a full on puppy. Like, she was like jumping up here wanting to sit. She wanted to drive actually home. She said, Thanks for coming all this way. I'll drive back. But we managed to get her into the crate. So, yeah, she's clearly not been trained <laughs> as expected. <laughs> yeah. um, so, we're gonna head home now. And she's just a puppy. Like, she just wants to play, which is so crazy because she's a mom. Oh, she sweet. reminds me so much of Hunter. It's so sad. Definitely. But she's gonna have a wonderful new life. You're coming to Joey's delivery service. Luxury. Okay, we made it home, and like usual, I want to give her a bath right away. So I'm gonna let her out and then put her on the side of the house. And we're gonna wash her up. Oh, it's like raw. You could like actually see your tail. What is that little nub? What's the little nub? Okay, so I'm gonna splash you with water and then we're gonna put soap on you and it's gonna feel real nice and cool. <laughs> Hot dog. Hot dog. Put some mustard on there, some ketchup. <laughs> Get you nice and clean. Oh, oh wow. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, she likes that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's obviously tough with a dog with like black fur to tell if they have fleas. So this is almost just like a guarantee way of killing anything that she might have. It's also nice that she has short fur. Definitely. I don't feel any ticks or anything, but you never know. It's crazy. Dawn dish soap truly is like a miracle worker. Like it kills all fleas pretty quick. It just like drowns them. It does the same with ticks. It's really good at killing them. Oh, those titties. They're full. They're ready. No. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> She's so good. Very good girl. Thank you. Don't you put a paw 
A little bit of sludge yeah. coming off of her. A little bit. It's like that dirt that was out there. Yeah. It's like kind of orange color. Oh, she's so young. I think she still has like a little bit of time. Like she's not like blown out yet. So I still feel like she has like a, maybe like a week or two left. I don't feel any movement. Yeah, I don't feel any babies. But it's weird cause like, why are her boobs so prominent? She's not like gotten close. Well, she's definitely a little bit rounder, right? Like, or is that just her rib cage? That's just her rib cage. Yeah. But, like, here's like where the babies would be. It's a little pudgy. Listen, I've already had one girl lie to me. She was a husky. She was not actually pregnant. So, you better not be lying to me, girl. We were told any day, any day. Any day, any day this year. Have you ever had a bath before? I'm she gonna said, go with nope. nope, nope. That's a no nope for have, her. I have not. Okay, I said, no, it's ears, yes. What do I feel like? Nice. Scratch I know, I know, I know. Hold on, oh. How do you ever not done? So ah. She's like, save me, save me, quickly. <laughs> oh gosh, she's strong. Did you see anything come off of her? I didn't see anything. No, I didn't. I don't feel any ticks. I mean, please, you never know, but it seems like she's pretty clean. Pretty clean, just dirt. Yeah. Can we turn the water off? It's this lever, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? The other way. <laughs> okay, Miss Mama. It's like, save me. I don't want to be part of this. Woo. Oh, clean. Yeah, it's nice. Just so nice. She's okay. Oh. She loves it. She loves it. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Oh, clean. Oh, up. Well, I'm sure since she has short hair, she'll dry quickly. So at least there's that. I'm just going to let her explore and chill here for a little bit. And then we'll bring her inside. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the love. That's a good girl. Thank you. Being so sweet. So sweet. Just thank you for the She's so sweet. She is a very good girl. I know she just wants to love and change it. Oh, thank you. Aww. Thank you, my sweet bad. You're a good girl. Let's get you some food. Sit. Sit down. Stay. Sit. No, you have to stand up. Okay. <laughs> She's like, what the heck is this? <laughs> I'll get you better food. This is all I have for right now. Listen. It's so dry. She's like, it's so healthy. What is this? It's healthy. Is this organic? Yes. <laughs> She's into it though. She's like, it reminds me of the rocks that you see in the <laughs> Enjoy. Hello, Miss Thing. She's looking so shiny. No jumping, no jumping. This is where you're gonna give birth if you are actually pregnant. But she looks so clean and shiny. Look at that shiny coat, oh my gosh. A model. What do you think? Checking out the place? You like it? She definitely has an issue with jumping up. It's not the greatest trait to have, especially when she is like, full on muscle woman. You are a big girl. You're very strong. Yes, you are. So normally with dogs that I foster, I let them kind of roam free. I don't fully trust her yet, so I'm gonna put her in this crate when I'm not in here. But obviously when she has the puppies, she'll have like the reign of the room and whatnot. But just for now, until I can learn to trust her. Do you wanna go in here? Go ahead. Get in there. What do you think? Oh, that's a nice bed. That's a nice bed for the girl. 
Let me smell placenta from previous dogs, previous mother's placentas. Hold on, I need to see what is on your back of your knee, your leg. What is that? Is that a tick? What is this? No, it's just dry. Dry elbow? Good girl. Good girl. Okay, she's out exploring the backyard right now. I think she's definitely pregnant. Are you pregnant? I just think she still has a, maybe a week or two, honestly. I'm not sure though. It's the next morning. How did you do this, girl? Come on out of here. Hi. Okay. Do you need to go outside? Careful, that's your food. That's your food. You're gonna get it everywhere. Oh, good job. Good job. Hold on, hold on. Let me let you out. Oh, we saw that one coming. Definitely saw that one coming, didn't we? All right, we'll go outside. Good girl. Oh, she's getting some water. Good girl. That's a good girl. We're gonna have to work on that jumping of yours, aren't we? Oh, your water's gone. Let's get some more. <laughs> She was thirsty throughout the night, huh? Look at the tail wagon. Her coat is gorgeous. You didn't peer poop the bed. So you guys, I don't think she's pregnant. Like she's eating like she is, but she definitely, now that I'm looking at her waist, I'm like, there's no belly. There's, there's nipples, but no belly. They are claiming that she's like at least 40 to 50 days pregnant, which usually it takes like 60 days for a term. So either she's just got pregnant, she had babies, and they did something with the babies. I don't have no idea. But also she doesn't have milk, so maybe she didn't have the babies. I don't know, okay. Okay, well, it's a couple days later, and um, I'm taking her to the vet because, you guys, I don't think she's pregnant. I really don't think she's pregnant. And if she is, she's like a day pregnant because this girl is skinny as hell, she doesn't have the like balloon belly and the only thing that is a little like pregnant about her is her nipples are enlarged but you know what everyone's a little bit different she might just have big nipples so we're taking her in to go get checked out she's gonna get a sonogram and we're gonna find out once and for all if you're actually pregnant she might even be too young to be pregnant honestly but she is such a good girl and she just is such a love bug. I love her so much. So we're gonna get you good help, mama, okay? Actually, I don't even know if you are a mama. Okay, so here is the update, you guys. She's pregnant. She is pregnant, all right, but it's still the very early stages of her pregnancy. So honestly, I feel like the people just saw her getting it on and they're like, oh, she's pregnant, she's due. She's not due. She still has, they said, probably another 30 days, which, is unfortunate for me, which I kind of could tell. She was either early stages of pregnancy or just not pregnant at all. She's obviously pregnant. So I'm doing some traveling for a while coming up where I'm not gonna be able to be here in time for the whole pregnancy. So luckily Wagmore was already working on a potential if she wasn't pregnant for her to go to. So unfortunately she is leaving. Her stay is short. I feel so heartbroken because she's such a sweetie, but look at her. She's so good. But basically, I at least got her out of that situation, which I feel very good about. And now she's going into care to like someone who has like a full barn and area for her and all her babies. Cause what I've found is Dobermans have a lot of energy and they need you know, to let that energy out some ways. So sweet girl, you are going to a farm. Yes, to have birth. Um, I wish I could like, help her deliver her babies but most importantly she's rescued from the situation that you guys all saw her in and um now she's gonna go to a home and i know you guys are probably upset because you're not gonna witness the birth and all that process but i will be back soon after my travels to have puppies or cats or something um so i'm sorry we're just gonna have to wait a little but i have to get her to her new home so hi sweet girl no no jump, thank you. She said, thank you for rescuing me. Thank you, even though I can't be here forever. Oh, are you crying? You have tears in her eyes. 
You are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, gentlewoman. Thank you. Okay. Okay. You have the most energy of any dog I fostered. Yes, and she's so strong. Such a strong woman. Okay, let's go bring her to her farm. Okay, flash forward two weeks. My life has been very crazy. I'm so sorry. I wanted to get this video up a lot sooner, but I do have a really exciting update with Mama after the drop off that just happened. In this video for me, it was a long time ago, but I got videos of the drop off later that day of her just having the best life already at this new foster. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good dog. Hi. And I think that they might end up keeping her because it seemed like they're already bonding, so we'll see. But I'm just so happy she's in a good place while I have to now head off and go do what I'm doing. But anyways, that is the end of that journey. Oh my gosh. But hopefully when I'm back and settled back into my place, we can do another fostering journey. I know I'm sure this video excited a lot of people that we were about to embark on something. Um, I was too, but life happens and things just come up. And you know what? All of that really matters is she's in a good place right now and getting the care that she needs and I'm happy to be a part of it even if it was for that short time I was able to get her out of that situation and I'm just happy she's in a good place now but yeah I do want to also remind you guys about the Indiegogo campaign for the movie that I'm so desperately trying to make happen for Escape the Night I would really appreciate if you guys would go to the page and support and pre-order basically the movie that will be coming out I really really want to make this and I I'm just, we're like almost halfway there. I just want to make a movie so bad. It's like literally my dream, my passion. It's just like been a life goal of mine for a long time and we're so close to being able to make this happen. So click the link down below if you guys want to be a part of that journey with me and um, making that dream a reality for me. But anyways, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm actually off to London right now. So I will maybe see you guys there in a vlog coming up. So that's it for today. Until next time, I'll see you guys next time. Good damn, bye.